Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY to predict where we could be heading to next. But before we start with the content, we have right now a special Bybit bonus going on. If you fulfill all the requirements till the 10th of December, you can get up to $500 in bonus. Here you can see what kind of deposit is needed in order to get up to $500 in bonus and it doesn't matter if you put a deposit or not you will get anyway a guaranteed $20 coupon if you just put this voucher code in the rewards hub and it doesn't matter if you signed up with my referral link or not everyone can claim these free bonus and coupons just using this voucher code in the rewards hub of buy bit so definitely go and take this free money as long as they offering it to you and right now my friends we can start with the content because bitcoin currently is looking like that it's gearing up for another attempt here to push higher even though we had this breakout from this rising wedge it looks like that we are forming here a possible at least for the short term double bottom pattern that could take us again towards fourteen thousand dollar potentially to trade along this previous support which now is a new resistance and currently it's lining up perfectly here at around fourteen thousand dollar in the one hour time frame you can see that also we got a buy signal and it looks like that we could have some room left here to the upside before eventually we're coming down towards thirteen thousand dollar and potentially even have a continuation to the main support of around eleven thousand dollar and if we have a look into the dxy you can also see that the dxy currently is falling down potentially we are getting supported here at the 200 moving average in the one hour at around 93.40 so the dxy still have some room left to the downside and therefore i think we will see this possible push here towards 14,000 in the next couple of hours because the DXY is looking here very oversold and we're coming very close to the 200 moving average in one hour. So I think as soon as here we are hitting a buy signal, we will eventually see continuation to the downside in the Bitcoin price and the opposite here in the DXY. So this little sell off that we are seeing here in the DXY, I think we are almost done with it. Maybe we are coming down towards the 200 moving average before we maybe have another bounce to the upside side only if we will start to close hourly candle below 93.40 or even worse below 93.20 then i'm expecting here continuation to the downside because in that case we will be back in this falling wedge that we were in here in the last couple of weeks but so far it looks like that the dxy is just having a correction before maybe it continues to pump and the opposite thing here in the bitcoin price potentially we are seeing in the next couple of hours here some more pushes towards 14,000 before maybe we're getting rejected here and start heading towards 13,000 and maybe even lower because if we go over into the four hour time frame you can see that currently we're trading below the 20 moving average so as long as we're not closing four hour candles above $13,700 I think we could be in here for a bigger correction even towards the 200 moving average right here at $11,900 we also are below the 50 level in the RSI but as I told you my friends this looks like a potential double bottom also here in the RSI so we could be in here for a possible attempt here to go again above $14,000 and potentially test here the main resistance currently at $14,400 and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're trading in the lower end so even if we see a push towards $13,700 it will be important that we also close four hour candles above this price level otherwise we will be still trading here on the bearish side and then potentially see continuation to the downside also we have all the indicators shifted to the downside i think even though we could see a pump today or in the next coming hours most likely we will get rejected pretty soon because also here the dxy is looking more like it it's gonna have a correction towards the old resistance which now should be turning into new support before maybe we're gonna have another big lag to the upside only if the dxy will close again four hour candles here below 93 dollars so within this falling wedge that we were in in the last couple of weeks then i think this was a fake out and the dxy will continue to crash here to the downside and the opposite we're gonna see in the stock market
market and also in the Bitcoin price, we're gonna see a big pump in the price. And we can go over now into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we're still far away from the 20 daily moving average, which currently is still here at $12,800. This was my target here for this breakout from the, this rising wedge. So I still think there is a high chance that we could reach this target and bounce from the 20 daily moving average if the DXY continues to pump. Also because here in the daily time frame we were looking quite overbought. Also I got a sell signal when we topped out here at $14,200. So a correction at least towards the 20 daily moving average, I think it is very likely to come. In the worst case, maybe we could fall even towards our main support right here at $11,100. This is also still in the cards. So I definitely gonna try to catch some longs and also buy some more Bitcoins in this area down here if we are coming down to these levels. But if we're gonna have here a pump towards $14,400 and also we're gonna break out to the upside here, then we could be head into big new levels at least towards 16 to 18 thousand dollar per bitcoin and in that case i will try to catch a market long here at around 14400 dollar if we are able to break out here to the upside from this channel that we are in now since many weeks so even though we have some warning signs and also we got some sell signals if bitcoin is really able to break out here from fourteen thousand four hundred dollars so out of this channel to the upside then i think we are good to go for another big parabolic move to the upside and therefore if you don't want to miss out the trade you will need to put a market buy order right here as soon as we are breaking out from this important resistance up here at fourteen thousand four hundred dollar so currently i'm not in a trade i'm still waiting and i'm also not shorting these potential short opportunities i'm just waiting for the price eventually to come down towards the 20 daily moving average at twelve thousand eight hundred dollar or maybe even down here towards the support of around eleven thousand one hundred dollar and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can also see that currently we are still testing this nine day moving average. And the more we are testing this moving average, the weaker it gets. So I think it's just a matter of time if we are not able to have a big bounce to the upside towards the top here currently at $14,500 that we will see eventually a retest of the middle line here of $12,800. And if this will not hold, then be prepared to see a sell off towards $11,000. At least this is my expectation here for the next couple of days. And if we have a look into the DXY in the daily, you can see that currently we are still trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average. So it is very likely that we will just come down here to test this moving average before we are able to gear up to break here the 100 day moving average and then also go towards the 200 daily moving average, which is my target here for this breakout of this falling wedge. And this is where I'm expecting the top of the DXY and where we will continue to plan again lower and also go lower than the previous supports down here at around 91 dollar at least this is my expectation because we are breaking out from this pattern and also we got a buy signal here in the daily time frame and the opposite in the bitcoin price and that's why i think the dxy has now the chance to pump and of course that would be very bearish for the stock market and also for the Bitcoin price. So watch out my friends in the next couple of hours and days I'm expecting some volatility also because we have the US election going on today. If you are in a trade be very careful put a stop loss as soon as you are in profit because I'm expecting here some volatility that is coming back. I personally will not trade at least for now because if I would enter a trade right now probably it would be a short position at around 14k to ride it down towards 13 to 11 thousand dollar but since I don't like to short in an uptrend I better wait for good long opportunities and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to sign up to my channel also over on twitch and discord you find all the links down below here in the video description also if you want to see my own indicator you can contact me on discord and if you need any kind of trading exchanges those are the ones that i recommend you and if you are new in the crypto space use swiss Bork or coinbase to open an account and buy bitcoin with fiat or credit card these two exchanges are the ones that I also use and with my referral links you will not only get some free money and cryptos when you sign up with my links but for example here on coinbase you can also claim some free altcoins if you just click on my invitation links down below here but you need a coinbase account in order to claim this free money so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye